What we want to do is we want to get our six blocks so that they are in two parallel rows and that they are going to be one quarter of an inch away from each other. So this way we can print them flat on the 3D printer and that we also have enough room to print two students puzzle blocks at the same time. Going back in the SketchUp, what you should have right now are your blocks that look something like this. Since we have grouped them, um, they are not going to stick to each other. Um, if you have not grouped your items, you, you will find out. Um, so what we want to do is let's get the, um, the bottom one, the pink one. And what I'm going to do is use the select tool. I'm going to select the pink one and I'm going to come up to the move tool and I'm going to click on the bottom left corner of this block once and then I'm going to come over here and click the bottom left of the other block. Now we have technically the two blocks are together. I'm going to click again on this endpoint and drag my cursor off to the right and I'm going to place it about here and now my pink block as we can see is now parallel to the bottom of your actual block what we want to do is let's grab the green one so using the select tool I'm going to select the green one and I'm going to select the move tool I'm going to click the um, this corner here and I'm gonna bring it down to this pink block right here I'm gonna click and I'm gonna click again and move it off to the right now right now if I take a look my pink and green ones are too close together so using the move tool again I'm gonna click on one of the corners drag it off to the right and type in one quarter of an inch and then enter so now we can see that the pink and green one they are um, one quarter of an inch away from each other but one issue you can see is that the green one is a little too far to the right so clicking the move tool I'm gonna select this corner and bring it over one quarter of an inch okay so those are the two flat ones so let's grab the um, the purple one right here and what we need to do is we actually need to rotate it so that it um, is flat so I'm going to use the select tool select the purple block I'm going to click on the rotate tool up in the top it's to the right of the move and I'm gonna select this flat surface here I'm gonna click once in the center drag my mouse a little off to the right um, you want to make sure that it's going directly to the right and that it's not on an angle like this so again I'm gonna come to the right I'm gonna click a second time now when I move my mouse you'll see that it's going to start rotating and I want to rotate it 90 degrees and if I look in the bottom right where it says angle I'll see that it is 90 degrees since your purple block is now selected I can click on the move button click the bottom corner get it parallel to the green one move it off to the side to here and then I'm going to click type in one quarter of an inch and then enter so I can see that I have one row set up I've got my pink green and now purple and they are one quarter of an inch away from each other so let's see here now I'll work on the yellowish orange one so I'm going to select it click on the rotate tool I'm going to click on the center of this face bring it off to the left or the right click and rotate 90 degrees now I'm gonna move this one parallel to the pink one move it to the right and I want to move it right one quarter of an inch let's take a look at this okay now I've got my red one actually let's work on the blue one select the blue rotate this 90 degrees click on the green sometimes you might have to zoom in if it doesn't quite snap there we go bring it off to the right click again 
and type in one quarter of an inch. And the last one is the red one. So I'm going to select it, rotate it 90 degrees. This one I will bring down to the purple one. And I want to bring this one over one quarter of an inch. So I'm going to select this, bring it over here, click, type in one quarter of an inch, and then enter. And we can now see that we have our two rows. Oh, it looks like the yellow one is too high up. So I'm going to select it, click on move, bring it parallel to this corner and bring it over one quarter of an inch. Oops, bring it over again one quarter of an inch. Perfect. Okay, so we can see that we have our two rows. They are parallel and we know that they are one quarter of an inch away from each other.